Okay, this is the Super Ride Hitch. Um, this is a 2014 F350. You can see where um, I was able to get about a 12 inch piece of the strip under the rear, but you can't do it in the front because you can see the two large um, factory pucks right under the P and then up towards the front. Now the front puck is positioned directly underneath the, the slot um, for mounting a strip up front. So I looked at putting a strip in between those two pucks and just drilling a new hole in the base, but the rib um, up between the two pucks is really narrow. It's uh, maybe a half inch wide rib. It's just the bed of the truck is formed differently there. So um, it was impossible to put one there. And the short little bit in front of the puck, um, they're just, uh, there's not room to, to put it there either. Now if I take the strips out on the back, the entire hitch sits flat on the four pucks. Um, and please note that I do have the, you know, there's plastic inserts that go in the puck when you're not using it. I have those taken out. So what we're seeing here, it's, it's like a metal ring. It's part of the puck system. Um, so it sits flush on those two and slightly off the rest of the bed. So again, by putting these short pieces in the back, um, at least I get some, I get some, uh, a little bit of it there in in the in the the valley or the groove to keep the the hitch from twisting. Uh, I don't know. I've, I've pulled twice. I've pulled my camper twice without those strips in place, and I didn't have any movement of the hitch. Um, but I think I'm going to try it this weekend this way. I'm going to give you just a couple more shots here, and then I'll send this. Shadow is probably messing it up here.